So there's a couple more things we need to do just to finalize the migration of our application. So in this step, we need to do just a couple more things just to completely finalize and clean up our migration process. Now, the first off is to actually get rid of all references to AngularJS. So although we've now migrated to Angular, uh, modern Angular, so you know, we're now booting and we're using, full, we're not dual booting, we're just booting using uh, normal Angular. Even though we're doing that, we're still referring to the old Angular stuff in different places in our code. So I think now is a great chance just to make sure we're cleaning all that up. And it's really important to do so because of the way Webpack works. Even though we're importing this, and even though this makes no difference to our Angular application, to our modern Angular application, even though we're importing these Angular JS libraries in, and we're not using them in our Angular application, the way Webpack works, it will still spider this and it will still grab all of this code and stick it in the final uh, bundle file that we've got here. So we wanna make sure we don't have a large bundle.js file. That's the, kind of the main reason uh, we're doing that. And also because it's a good, good idea just to clean everything up, to be honest with you. So first off, let's make sure we've got rid of all of those import star as Angular statements. So I'm just gonna do import star as Angular and let's find out what we've got. So we've got a couple of different places. Now, one of them is this app main .ts, which is actually the old Angular uh, module where we're bootstrapping. So actually, we just want to get rid of this file so we don't even need to deal with that just yet. And then we've got this old filter, so default image filter, so you were using it there. And again, we're not using any Angular JS anymore, so we can remove any filters. If you remember, this has been migrated over to a pipe anyway, and it's being used, well, not anywhere else really. It's kind of it's found itself in some map files, but that's fine. We don't really need it anymore there. So the main thing we need to do is just remove these two files, app name, main, main TS, and default image filter file as well. So let's find those here. Oh, it's searching node module. I didn't, I didn't need to search node modules. So let's move the whole of the filters folder. Let's move that to trash. We don't need that anymore. And if you remember, we already also have this app main.ts. Again, we don't need that anymore. Okay, so now we're not referring to Angular with an import in any files. And we've now removed the old AngularJS uh, module code. And previously, we'd also removed our AJS upgraded providers as well. Now let's take a look at our uh, app main.ts. So that is up above, here it is, main.ts. And you can see at the top here, we're also including our old Angular code. Let's just make sure we remove all those references at the top there. We don't need those anymore. We do need the polyfills that we, we do need those. We don't need the rest of the stuff at the top. And then let's go into our package JSON and make sure we have removed all of this old Angular imports at the bottom. We keep the Angular 2 stuff. We do need the Angular 2 stuff, but this is all the old Angular stuff there. And we've got AngularJS toaster. And I believe the rest we want. Yep, the rest looks good. Now let's make sure everything's working still by compiling the application. Now let's give it a go. Let me refresh the application. It looks good. Hit delete, hit edit, hit save. So awesome, now we've removed all references to Angular JS uh, from our package JSON and from our code. Everything now is a pure Angular application. So that's it. Now we've removed all references to Angular JS in our application. One thing I will uh, stay, I forgot to mention, is that if you are still, if at this stage you've also still downgrading any of your components or anything like that, make sure to remove those as well. I mean, your, your application won't compile if you are, because you should have removed all the import star from Angular at the top. But just as a reminder, you will also need to remove all of that old downgrade component code as well.